Okay, so I'm having a grand time. My baby is sleeping a long nap. I tanned in um, the tanning pool that I got. I'm just having a nice, a nice time. And I thought, what better to, you know, take this opportunity and uh, do a My Baby Had the Audacity episode season, wait, episode two. <sighs> okay. Um, because, you know, gossip is part of my healing process. So, yeah. Okay, My Baby Daddy had the audacity to cheat on me with a 75-year-old woman. So when he worked at this one factory job, he um, would talk about this old lady named, I'm sorry, I'm not going to say her name out loud, but I'm going to tell you that she had the name of an insect. And that's why it like stuck in my head because it was a weird name. And so he used to always say, that, la that old lady like really likes me and people like make jokes about us dating and blah, blah, blah. I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think it was like a warning flag because at that time I didn't know he was a disgusting sex addict narcissist. So it didn't like, but I always like remembered it because of her name. So then one day when I start like shit starts to hit the fan, I realize he's like cheating on me a lot. I searched his car. So I'm searching his car. I found find his book bag. I go through his book bag and I find in his book bag fishnet leggings that are mine. They're in the box. They're not opened, but they're mine in his book bag and condoms and a love letter. So I get the love letter. I read the love letter and it's from the lady with the insect name who is 75 years old talking about how they like experienced um you know like i thought we were experiencing something together i'll read it to you guys if you want me to read it like i get me to the point where i have a thousand followers and i will fucking read it for you like just let me be able to make some commission on reviews i got you girl i will give you all my gossip so anyways um it said stuff like we sat at the um there's like this like place called the homestead and she's just like we sat at the homestead and i wouldn't i wouldn't give that part of me to any just anyone i wouldn't do that with just anyone and it just really surprised me when you told me the information and i'm pretty sure the information was me being pregnant and um then it says i just i had no idea that you were seeing her and things were serious and um, I thought we had a real connection and to please just let the next, the next woman know who you really are and that I hope you have a good life with your girlfriend and your new family. I confronted him about it and he didn't even know who it was from. He was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. So I'll be back.